Most people look at real estate investing all the wrong way. And the number one reason for that is they're overlooking, they're not even taking into account one of the key reasons to invest in real estate to begin with, and that's depreciation. I'm gonna explain how it works, what it is of course, so that you can take advantage of it too, and more importantly, just so you can analyze your real estate investments accurately. Hey guys, I'm Dan Beer here, Beer Home Team, EXP Realty, and the way depreciation works in a real estate investment, let's suppose that you purchase a home that you're gonna rent out. Most people are only looking at the return in terms of how much that rent will be to cover the expenses, and then they say, okay, we'll have this much ROI. But there's a component here that, that people take advantage of, uh, professional real estate investors take advantage of, that needs to be part of your analysis, and that's depreciation. The way it works is when you purchase a property, there's a certain amount of that that is allocated to, uh, by the government to the structure, okay? So a certain amount of the value, think in the 50 to 60% range typically here in San Diego, would be allocated to the structure, and then the rest of that, say 40 or so percent, to the land. Well, you can't depreciate land, and there's no tax benefit there, but the structure itself is a depreciating asset in, in the eyes of the IRS, even though, amazingly, we all know real estate is an appreciating asset. And that's where you get these two amazing benefits. You have an appreciating asset that the government literally lets you write off in, in, in what they call depreciation. So for a residential property, it's 26 and a half years. You take the value of the property, the structure uh, part of it, you take the value of the structure, and you get to divide that value by 26 and a half years. So say it's an $800,000 property, just to throw a number out there get to divide that by 26 and a half years. Now, here's the beauty. It's going to create a return. It's going to create, right, it's going to create income for you. And even in this market, we can absolutely find property, it's abundant, that creates income. Well, that income will essentially be tax-free, or I should say tax-deferred. And look, circle back with your CPA just, to, just so that you get really clear on all this. And of course, we're happy to talk, talk with you here and run some scenarios. But that income is essentially pro uh, protected by the depreciation because the depreciation that this property kicks off will be covered or will cover the income. So when you're looking at your returns and thinking, hey, I get a 6% return or a 7% return, the reality is, is that it could be as much as 30 or 40% more than that because you're not having to pay the tax on it. Now, of course, when you go to sell the property, you'll catch up on that depreciation. That's a more involved conversation, which we're happy to have with you. But what a lot of real estate investors do, of course, is they do then what's called a 1031 exchange. So when they go to sell the property, they don't pay the tax, they defer it forward, and then they move into a higher property with more income and more cash flow. These are the concepts why sometimes, and this isn't a political post by any means, but this is why you, know, you hear about people in the news or politicians or whoever it might be that aren't paying as much tax as some people think they might or should be pay or we would assume they would pay, that's because they are very rich in depreciation. They have a lot of real estate, that real estate protects their income. There's other components of this where, depending on if you're considered a real estate professional, you can do, you could have even more aggressive strategies uh, through things called like cost segregations, but we'll talk about that offline. Really here, the concept of this video is, are you looking at your real estate investments right, or are you doing what most people do and just seeing the cash flow? Don't forget about the magic of depreciation. It's really one of the absolute most uh, useful mo and, and most potent, most powerful things that professional investors and those that don't pay as much tax as others take advantage of. Best of all, it's legal. You're encouraged to do so by the IRS. It is absolutely the most common thing in the world. So let's take a look at your next investment with that in mind. I'm Dan Beer, Beer Home Team here, EXP Realty. I'll see you on the next one. Whether you're buying or selling, the answer is clear. Go with beer, the beer home team.